Uh, down here in the bottom right hand corner, we've got our red Zerg saxophone. Ooh, now we got the music. Playing the GSL music, that's top. Ready to rock, baby. Yeah. Sarsabot bringing us to the ace match, but up here in the top left, give it up for our blue Zerg G Zerg. This one from Russia? Sounds Russian. Right. Yeah. Sounds Russian. That's it. Oh, that's right. It's from that game, uh, Red Alert. Oh, uh, okay. We are getting this, uh, yeah, low ground, the bottom middle uh, being taken as the third makes sense, but it is quite a distance away. Yeah, uh, a little further. Ling, Ling's coming in, and they will make their way into the main base. The pool is not uh, done yet for Sarsabot, but it has handled itself reasonably well uh, using the drones here to attack. It pulls the damage once, and uh, yeah, it did a really good job here, leaving only two alive. Wow. Uh, which is better, even better than last game. It left uh, five actually living. And yeah, and like you were saying, I think, is this further? Yeah, this is a little bit further. That weird kind of yeah. house-shaped obstacle there. Uh, yeah. It does increase the distance from because uh, I was kind of comparing it to the first one where we had the ramp and you know it was a little bit of a distance, but yeah, this is definitely a little bit further away. So I think and that it, will help Sarsa bot. It's it has there's potentially weird pros and cons to it. It should on paper help Sarsa bot a lot. In reality, it may help Cheezer get like four spines on the low ground, which Sarsa doesn't do anything about. Although he's already now under a really good attack here. So if he can uh, if he can win this fight and then go back to attacking that and actually shut it down, which he's doing really well. Um, yeah, this is a lot more damage than the first or yeah, the second time around. Exactly. A lot of this is now stemming from how well the drones did in holding those off. Uh, he's got six remaining lings because he was able to kill off four of the original six. So if he could just straight up kill this, then that would be a huge... Oh, he gets the He's drone! He's even the drone. The For the spine. Here. That's clean incredible. here may finally hold this. But yeah, killing that first attempt at a spine. Speed being done, though, is going to be a big deal. As I'm again, telling you. Yeah, Sarsabot being able to micro back exactly what he wants when he wants is, uh, is going to be pretty big. It just, Sarsabot, it just feels like Sarsabot learns so much from even just one game after the next we, we, we can see in each one of these games kind of almost a progression of of being able to hold this off here and yeah. each time it gets a little better more damage on the hatchery uh more zergons more drones left alive that kind of thing yeah exactly. uh, and already uh, sarsabot's up four drones has got the spine in its natural has slowed down this uh this uh, proxy for teaser significantly so looking yeah, good yeah, it was looking good for now I'm now I'm favoring Sarsabot again. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. Okay, he's getting the Baneling Nest a lot earlier too this time around. Sarsabot counterattacked at home, and all of Cheezerg's lings went home and left. And now oh, he's he? able to jump on this. Yeah, they're oh, coming that's back now. Oh, yeah, they're coming back now. But he will be able to kill off the spine, and he gets that queen. The queen has joined on the low ground for Sarsabot. Will he win this fight? A Baneling went off. And he is able to take out that hatchery. That is probably the decisive blow. Oh, God, I can just... Still, they're just getting baited by the single lings to every which way. Well, and it's I so think. easy for the speedling to do it, too. It yeah, just comes yeah. here and pulls the entire army back. It's like, ah, you can't catch me. Does finally get caught there on the wall, but it's already, you know, it did its damage here. And now Sarsabot's going to push across and engage on the other side of the map. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to do so. He needs to get those bailing. Oh, there we go. Here there. it comes. Oh! <laughs> oh, just absolutely brutal. Only even needed a few banelings there. Yeah, tons left. We'll be able to get this before it finishes or as it finishes. Banelings will go up into the main base where there's a single queen defending all these drones. And will he be a little more aggressive this time or are we going to go up to 12 bases again? Looking like Sarsabot's feeling confident in the aggression going to be able to get another good Baneling hit. It's denied the natural. The queen's going to get caught. And uh, once again, Sarsabot has seemingly uh, done the impossible and come back and yeah. taking this in a two reverse sweep here.